So this week I'm spending the week at Debenham High School where we're running something called Prayer Space. It's something we've been doing for a few years here at the school and all it is is just an, an opportunity for students at the school to experience prayer in a different way. Maybe they're used to experiencing prayer in a cold church where they have to have their hands like this and their heads bowed down uh, but we're actually trying to challenge that to see that actually prayer and communication with God can be done in so many different ways. Yeah so Prayer Space has been going for a number of years. Um, and the Forge Church have always been very, very heavily involved in that and actually as time's gone on have sort of taken pretty much the running of that over. When we started our prayer space, we started just using lower school students, so year seven, eight and nine, um, and those students really got a lot from it. But actually what we realised as time went on is we wanted to extend that, so we now do that for our year 10 and 11 students. So every child in our school gets a space in the week where they're able to come into the prayer space, have some time to reflect, to think, perhaps to consider their faith, consider their beliefs, but it's certainly that time just to reflect on what they are thinking, what they're going through. Almost to a person, they are really positive about the experience, they really value the time that's given to them just to think about things. And you might think that some of perhaps the older students would come in and be less serious about what's going on, but actually all of them come in and actually really value it and use it very maturely, very sensibly. And it's a, real, a really important opener for those conversations which, which start here. And so we're using three areas. We're looking at their think, getting them to think about their, their mind and their well-being. Uh, we're looking at them to think about their body uh, and their exercise and how they view themselves. And we're getting them to think about their souls. Uh, and that's a really good way to kind of for them to kind of uh, think and reflect and experience prayer in a different way. And for one of the zones, we're getting them to ask some questions, specific questions that they might have that they would ask God. I just want to share a couple of those with you. So the first one we got was, what does heaven look like? And what an amazing opportunity for us to kind of share a little bit about what heaven looks like, or at least just to kind of talk to them about that sort of subject within a school environment. It was such a great time to kind of have a chat with them about that. And the last question, which is one of my favorite that we've ever had here, is why do people feel self-conscious if they believe that they are made by God? Isn't that an amazing opportunity that a young person, just because of prayer space, is able to think about that, think about how they view themselves, to think about how God views them, and a great opportunity for us to kind of share about how we believe God views them also. Uh, it's been a great week uh, and uh, we've had a fantastic time.